Hi friends, welcome back to All in Law. This is a quick pediatrics and today's topic of discussion is tetanus. And this is also a very important topic for internal medicine. So tetanus. So you know, let me clear this tetanus, okay. Tetanus, what is tetanus? Is nothing but acute spastic illness. It's a acute it's a spastic illness. It's a really very fatal condition, guys. And what is the cause? Is a cause by the neurotoxin produced by Clostridium tetani. Is a gram positive or a gram negative? It's a gram positive, remember. And we made a different video on that. And regarding the treatment of a patient infected with uh, tetanus, an immunized and unimmunized patient, how do you prevent it? It's really very important. And we uploaded a video on that. And that's really very cool. Just watch that video. Okay, let's talk about the signs and symptoms, how the patient presents, clinical features, okay. The most important thing what you need to look for is a trismus. What is a trismus? It's not a Christmas, guys, it's a trismus, okay. What's a trismus? It's not a masseter muscle spasm. You know the masseter muscle? If this is a mouth and we have the masseter muscle here, okay. Okay, there's a spasm of the mus uh, muscles, okay, it's muscles, masseter muscle. And this is a very, really very characteristic sign of this disease okay right and there there's another thing that is a rises caniness rises caniness okay a green caused by special spasm that's also a classic okay and remember if an infant or what you call a child if he has developed a tetanus then if you go under such a severe spasm or a paralysis of a trunk and the thigh that if it, this is the head of the patient and this is the leg okay so this will touch the ground and this will touch the ground and this is above the ground okay this is a characteristic posture that is known as a arched arched posture okay and the late stages, if it manifests, is severe, uh, severe, very severe. In the late stages, manifests with the recurrent seizures. The will, patient will have a recurrent seizures. Remember, recurrent seizures consisting of sudden severe tonic contraction of the muscles with a fist clenching, fist clenching, like a hand clenching. Okay, fist clenching, flexion and adduction of the upper limb. Okay, flexion and adduction of the upper limb, and extension of lower limb. So just, you know, practice yourself. You can, you can imagine what happens, such a severe condition. Okay. Then, uh, what's the incubation period? I forgot to tell you about the incubation, incubation period of this. It's around 2 to 14 days. Okay. So, how do you diagnose that? Diagnosis is typically made clinically. Clinical is really very obvious. Okay. Uh, try to look for what you call uh, gram sting is really rarely you know in, only in 30% of cases the gram is gram positive so clinically it's a really very important you can diagnose it very uh, early okay so how would you treat is nothing but one is you can give what you call human tetanus immunoglobulins okay immunoglobulins tetanus immunoglobulin rapid administration is really very important then we can give penicillin G or a metronidazole okay right surgical excision and debridement of the wound if there is a wound there should be a debridement of the, the surgical wound okay okay muscle relaxants can be given such as diazepam okay to prevent what you call uh, collapse of uh, respiratory system okay and uh, how, what is the prognosis mortality rate is uh, what you call a 5 to 35 percent so that's why a really very s serious and a very severe condition um neonatal tetanus then it can be very dangerous up to 75 percent mortality so that's why it's a really very dangerous uh, disease okay so uh, briefly I told you about the tetanus. Thank you so much for watching this video. Take care.